So guys, so very, very quickly, just before today's video starts, I'm going to quickly tell you about a company called Pedalshaw. Now Pedalshaw, I'm sure you've heard of them, are a cycling-based insurance company who strive to deliver the best value, most comprehensive cover and the best customer service on the market. Personally, I spend a lot of time traveling around with my bike in and out of cars, on and off trains, flying when we can. Fortunately, accidental damage just comes with the nature of traveling around with your bike. Having that peace of mind that my bike is covered and taken care of is a massive weight off my shoulders and also could save me thousands in replacement or repair costs. Now Pedalshaw also offer their new customers a free gold rated hip lock DX D lock. Now this comes with their policy if you are insuring a bike over £1,500 and you're paying for your policy annually. Now I know that my bike is definitely safe out on the roads but what about yours? If you head to the description box of this video all the information and links will be down there in order to get you and your bike completely safe and secure out on the roads for all the adventuring that we're gonna do. Now on to today's adventure. Today we are doing a super, super exciting video. I am riding stage five of the Tour of Britain which is going through next week and it's literally coming directly past my house. It's coming on my home roads. I love how much you guys get so hyped about the views when I'm out riding and you just love this area when I'm filming out on my bike. So I thought, why not show you where one of the most prestigious bike races is going directly past my door and show you my point of view, how hard I find it. And yeah, just show you the roads where stage five of the Tour of Britain is going. So that is what we're doing today. We've got 160, 160, 100, like 156K on the cards. It is obviously an A to B. So I've got my mum dropping me off at the start point she has agreed to pick me up at the finish point as well so I'm not having to faff around with trains late at night on a Friday afternoon let's get right in the start of the Tour of Britain stage five. It starts at a place called Alderley Park and it's actually like a temporary vaccine center. So where I came for my vaccine. It's a pretty flattish route to start with. We go out into the Cheshire lanes at first. We now go to like Monks Heath traffic lights. We go past Capesthorn Hall, round through Siddington, and then we eventually make our way back to the Peak District. And then once we're in the heart of the Peak District, we then make our way back through like Wilmslow, Nutsford, and then back over to Warrington where it finishes. So I think it's probably going to take definitely over five hours today once we start getting into the peaks it's quite lumpy. I think it's only about 1700 meters of climbing though so it's not a super lumpy day but I still think it's going to take a little while especially with my legs. <laughs> right let's get going. And she's first stop at the traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> So we're 17k into the ride. It's been pretty like main roady, so haven't been able to film much up until now. But so we've basically gone through Holmes Chapel now. Kilometre zero is at like Monks Heath traffic lights, but it's still quite main roady. We do go out into the lanes quite quickly, just trying to get the main bulk of the busyness out of the way now. 
and it should get a little bit prettier. Off the main roads now. I'm so happy about it. Back on the back lanes. Well, now so quiet and so peaceful. Absolutely loving it. It's a beautiful route so far. to climb a little bit more we're about 30k into the ride now maybe 40k into the ride and it's starting to roll a little bit more we're heading back towards the peaks now i think so we're going to be on some familiar roads very very soon but these views are bliss I'm trying to enjoy them now because i know that the riders will not be able to enjoy them on race day so we're just on which i think is the main climb of the day going up to Winkle and Wild Boar Clough <sighs> crikey it bites guys it really does bite it's steep at the bottom plateaus slightly and kicks again towards the top before turning left into Wild Boar Clough but this is where I think it'll start to go however we're only 45k into the ride that's still very early on in a 156k day. All I can say to that is I'm really glad I'm not doing it. It's been a beautiful route so far, but like I was saying, it's been very like main roady. So now we're climbing up into the peaks for a little bit of riding up there, which will be a lot quieter and a bit more secluded and the views will match it as well. <laughs> top of that absolutely long climb and it feels so good to be at the top i'm now on very 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 familiar roads we are heading down the main road now we've just gone past winkle and we're going to go down here and hang a left and that will take us into a little place called wild boar clough which loads of you will have heard me talk about before on the channel it's a very very popular place in the peak district and one of my absolute favorites so I'm glad that it's going through there. Once we go through there, we head up to the Cat and Fiddle and then we start to make our way back down towards Wilmslow, Nutsford, and then out towards Warrington for the finish. So we've still got a hell of a long way to go of the ride, but I'm absolutely loving it now that we're in the Peak District. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Just what you want. Right guys, we're heading up to the Cat and Fiddle now. A very familiar road for me. Very steep hill. We're going like the cut through road, so we're not actually on the Cat and Fiddle. My legs are quite sore now, I don't know why, but we're getting there. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me until we get like down to like Wilmslow Nutsford, but we're getting there. Just one big blooming hill to get over and run our way. So guys, we're at the top of Brickworks, which is, I'm pretty sure Brickworks is one of like the last climbs of the day we pretty much leave the peak district now it's been absolutely stunning it's been so secluded so quiet i mean look at them views look at that absolutely beautiful and my mum bless her this morning she made a cheese and tuna pie last night and she was like take the last piece because you'll get to the top of the last climb and you'll want it and i'm gonna sit and just have this section of cheese and tuna pie now because i am absolutely flipping starving so and some real food is just what i need right now we are within the last 20 kilometers of this ride i am completely losing the plot i honestly i don't even know what to say this is the longest ride i've done in absolutely months and i'm feeling it my mum just sent me a message like i'm here i was like go into asda and get food but we are nearly there we've got like 20k left 
route from now on is like pretty darn straight line all the way in now and pan flat so it is quite nice but also this last little bit is a little bit boring but we're nearly there didn't even get the camera out in Nutsford or Wilms though because from there I kid you not it's literally been a straight line so there's just been not much to film at all but we are so 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 close now I can't wait to get there <laughs> finish of stage five of the tour of Yorkshire. Tour of Yorkshire? Tour of Britain. There we are guys, we have completed stage five of the Tour of Britain 2021 at these beautiful gates. I mean look at this. So I imagine the finish will be like here. Look at these gates that are stunning. So yeah that is the ride complete that is 155.2 kilometers we've done it in six hours and ten minutes six hours and nine minutes average of 25.2 and 1734 meters of climbing honestly stick a fork in me because i am done now i need to go and find my mum i think she's at an asda she's just sent me her location so yeah let's go and find her now